Hello, Slum people! Welcome to Mark Slum Tanks! Hello, guys, welcome to Mark Slum Tanks. What we're going to do today is we're going to do the draw first. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I have the computer already set up. This is the draw for last month with these lovely prizes here. And you're going to go, whoa, whoa, what was this? There's an extra prize? Yes, there is. Um, I think I'm going to change this uh, Water Tank thing to next month because. Um, I understand a lot of you guys won't want the subwater tank, okay? So what I'm going to do is, uh, for next month's draw, <coughs> pardon me, um, I want you to put a comment in the comment section below and say, Mark, I want the subwater tank, okay? So then when I do the draw, if it comes up, Mark, I want the subwater tank, you will get it. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, is because it saves a lot of time. Um, some of you guys simply don't want these prizes, and it takes... Sometimes it can take one, two, three weeks for me to finally resolve that. Okay, so I don't want to. We don't want to keep on doing it that way. I'm going to do it so. Um, if you want to win something, just for example, if you want to win the barley, you put in the comment section. I want to win the barley. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do the draw for this this month from last month's video, and this is sponsored guide by the Shrimp Farm. I'm just going to quickly go over to Ryan's website before we get onto this. This is his Facebook page, okay? Because I've tried to get on his website, for some reason it is offline right now. And we're going to do the draw, okay? Who's going to win this stuff? Let's see, we'll start with the barley. We'll start with the barley! You can't come from my land. You like my Cornish accent there? Okay, so let's do this. Who's going to win the barley? Who's it going to be? Who's going to be the winner? The winner! The winner! Let's see, who is it? And the winner is the boss man. Congratulations, boss man. Who is going to win the Max Breed? Mia Anika. Congratulations. For the final one, the shrimp baby. Let's see who's going to win. Wouldn't it be amazing if it was me? It's a fake video, Mark. Kev's best, congratulations. What we will do, guys, is um, I will leave the first comment. I will pin it in the comment section below on a way you can contact me. What I'm also going to do, guys, is for next month, I'm going to do something a little bit different. You heard me talk about the Sawasa Tang before. If you want to win the Sawasa Tang, leave a comment saying I want to win the Sawasa Tang. And um, what I'm going to do for next month, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to give you any money that I've earned from the shrimp farm from now the money that's in the account just now up until next month okay so that will probably probably be uh, something like a hundred dollars and now it stands at like sixty dollars or something so I want you to say in the comment section below I want to win the money from the shrimp farm okay and that's how you're going to win it now before I go before we go on to anything else I just want to cover some of the new stuff um, I think it's if my computer plays ball here. This is Relicon Aqua. This is the guy in Norway where I buy my shrimp. Relicon Aqua. And I've, I've come become uh, personal friends with this guy, uh, so I think it's worth your while if you live in uh, Norway, Scandinavia in general, and some parts of the EU and the UK. If you want to buy some fine shrimp with with the uh, first class service I, I highly recommend that you go and check out this guy he's on facebook okay as always i will leave links in the description and there is one more thing guys i want to show you before we go into the good stuff this is my own website Ta -da! i've been working on this for a couple of weeks and it guys it is a very very basic website it's more or less a wordpress uh, website and um, i'm having a lot of fun doing this Let's have a wee look while we're here. I hate this computer so much because it is so slow. We have Mark Shrimp Tanks um, emblems. I have my Facebook stuff. I have all my pictures on the side. I have a welcome message going all the way to the bottom. And then I have, um, where's the cursor? I can't see the cursor, there it is. Exclusive videos. Some of you guys may have seen one of these ones on uh, Facebook, there you go. See how slow my computer is? This one, this video is super interesting because it shows 
um, the meeting appendage of a male King Kong. <gasps> Orange eye blue tiger. Look at the shine on the shell, isn't it awesome? Let's see what else. I have my social media, Instagram, a YouTube, Facebook, aquarium shrimp keeping, etc. And this is basically, guys, it is a place where um, I can link all my stuff together, okay? So if you, if you click on any of these links, it will take you directly to my Wii sites. My Wii sites, did you like that? Let's see, and this is where I have uh, my Wii mini store. I don't have much things in here, I just have some water tongue, some Montmorillonite powder, moss balls, and I've start, started to put up some... Um, almond leaves. I also plan to do a starter kit guys if you are interested in that as well. And the starter kit is basically uh, something I'm going to give you that's going to have all the basic things that you will need for your shrimp tank for a month or two at the most, okay? There will be more details on that in the future. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to the tanks, the interesting part of the video. One moment though. So we are now in macro mode. Okay, we're going to go over the tanks. I'm going to start over here like I normally do and give you the lowdown on what's been happening in these ones. Okay, this one is a crystal red shrimp tank. This one is probably due for a redo. I believe the next video you see on this, I probably will have redone this tank because there comes a time when you need to change the substrate because it's lost. Um, it's buffering capacity and it's lost a lot of its nutrients. You can see, like on the sides and stuff, there's a lot of algae, but there's not much else. There's no, uh, there's no copia pods, etc. And there really should be. So this one is due for a change, and I will do that pretty soon. So same with this one. I have plans for this one as well. When I go up to the top, I'll explain more. Uh, this one is going to become a Sakura tank, I think. So this whole tank needs to be redone as well. Just let me go to the middle tank and you will see more of what I'm on about. What I'm on about! Now this whole new tank now is a crystal, uh, crystal black tank. And um, in here I have roughly about 40 to 50 crystal blocks. I know it doesn't look like it, but they are in there. Trust me, that I put them in yesterday, a lot of them. And they're all over the place. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a dedicated crystal black tank. All the ones that I have in the top tank in the crystal blocks will also be coming in here. The ones below in this tank will also be going in here. So this is going to be a dedicated crystal black tank. Uh, what has changed in this tank is there is no longer a divider in the center because I wanted to have better flow. There is no reason for me to have um, a divider here anymore, so I decided to do away with it. Going into the top tank. Um, what has changed in here? Not much actually. I have added some more Sawasa tank. Um, most of what's are tongue is tied to wood. You can see there's a couple there. I have one over here as well. That's horrific glare from that tank over there. I'm trying to put my body in the way of it, girls. So these ones are doing really, really well. Any crystal blocks that are in here shall be going down into the center, center tank. I'll just go into the bottom. Well, the other thing I changed, guys, as well, as you would have heard me talk about this, is this. The stainless steel intakes are now on and in place. And I'm actually surprised by the amount of water that I was losing before with this wicking action when I had the, the women's tights over this instead of this stainless steel thing. I was actually losing a lot of water. Um, it's been... Let me think. It is Wednesday today, so this tank should be due for a water change today, actually. And look how much water is lost. Hardly any at all. And the, this other tank is the same. And I took some water out of this yesterday. Hardly any water at all. These ones are exactly the same. Hardly any water loss at all. This one's still at the top. Okay, these ones are doing great as well. I'm not sure if I plan to keep them in here or not, because these ones are not the best grades in the world. But they kind of look nice with their little smiley heads. The tank is the same. Um, I now have over here 
the assassin tank and it is basically just a subwasser tank on sand the snails are in there they're going on around the sand i feed them um high protein pellets and the reason guys i don't have my snail tank in here anymore is because it was becoming impossible for me to change the water if any of you guys ever want to go into breeding more and more snails etc you will understand that it's important that you change up to 50 percent of the water every couple of days okay because they are messy eaters they produce a lot of waste uh, this tank here is nothing but java moss there's no no shrimp no snails nothing in here this one here is my red ram's horn snail tank i'll just quickly turn off that bubbler so you can have a wee look in there have a wee look guys have a wee look if uh if i have my camera set up properly I can actually put you in there so you can have a look. Can I have a look guys? Here we go, you're going for a swim, hold your breath! Just checking that the hatch was still on. Just let me give you a little shake. I might cut a little bit of that out. <laughs> so you don't have to see that. Now let's go on to the next tank. This is the cold tank. It has been wonderful. The Porthos is growing really, really well. I love the way this looks now. You hear me saying the same things over and over. Let's go in here as well. enjoying the tour today of the little swim with the little swim with the shrooms this is a different kind of moss this is weeping moss I'm just saying putting this in buckets because I want to see if I can grow out some I'll probably put a lot of this in my greenhouse this year we're going to go on to the cherry tank up here you have a watermark right in the middle just let me quickly clean that guys Ooh. there you go and uh, the thing I notice about putting mon moronite clay into the tanks now is the plants are absolutely, they're on a growth spurt like I've never seen before. A growth spurt. Look at the growth. It shows you how, um, you know, it just shows you what a lack of minerals will do. Look at, this is just duckweed. I'm actually finding it very hard to keep the duckweed in control under that tank. Let's go on to the Pinto tank. No shrimp in here yet. This one is has been up and running for about a week, two weeks. Next week I will do um, an ammonia test on this. I think it's probably already ready, but I just want to make sure there's enough biofilm on the sides and on things. Isn't it looking great? You want to see the tigers, the orange eye, blue tigers? Where are they? I can't see any of them. Where are they? Here they are. We were blurry. Here you go. What's interesting about this shot, guys, is the amount of females. Just let me get in a little bit posi better position here so I'm not shaking so much. Now, what's interesting about this, guys, is most of these shrimp in here are females and they're all buried. Let's see. Focus! Focus! It's on macro mode, so it should focus. Maybe it doesn't like the water. Let's go on to my blue bolt tank. I'm saying blue bolt. I actually have a mix of uh, Taiwan bees in here now. You can see on the sides. Can you see the babies? Oh, look at the baby blue bolts. Aren't they gorgeous? I play games in here where I, I look to see how many blue bolts I can find, how many young. They're all over the place. I mean, you're free to count them if you want as well. They're all over the gravel. You see a couple there in the gravel. One there, one over there. So there's loads of them in here. Unfortunately though, guys, the female, 
she held on to this batch for so long the day after she gave birth to them that she died so that was rather unfortunately but she in dying she gave life to all of her children there's loads of them in here I tried to count them before just in this half of the tank and there was like I, I think I counted like 15 in this half of the tank so that was kind of special uh, the bottom tank is, is really nothing special to see here my subwater tank is getting less and less and less I have some java fern is doing quite good in here the moss balls as well these are not normally piled up like this but um, I was cleaning the tank and when you clean them when you clean the tank with moss, moss balls you want to like turn them and squeeze them etc I of course have some wasser tank for sale this little bucket that I have here has some um, baby tears that will also be going out into the greenhouse in another month Baby tears. What is the other weed for this? Pearl, pearl weed. So it's looking good, isn't it, guys? This is the last tank. I want to show you the growth of this weeping moss. You guys would have remembered the um, how to make a moss wall thing. I want to show you the growth. It's reasonable, I think. I mean, from the side, when you look like this way, it looks a lot. But then when you go to the front like this, it doesn't look so much. But it has grown maybe about one centimeter in the time since you last saw this video, which is decent. I mean, by the next time, um, this will be two centimeters, three centimeters. So it is growing, but just slowly. This one down here is Java moss, and you can see it grows much faster. Also, guys, this is another thing. I, I know I keep on saying this, um, but I've said to a few of you that since I've been using Mont clay. That I'm, I think I'm actually watching my plants grow. Look how healthy this sawasa tank is. This was um, newly tied and I put this into the tank. And that wasn't even th uh, two months ago. Look how big this has grown already. Other things. Look at this java moss. You wouldn't have seen this last month because it's only been in here about, about two or three weeks. Look at the growth on it. Look at the, the end of the leaves. End of the little arms. Look how much has grown. It's the same with this one here. They grow really, really fast, Java moss, in great conditions. Uh, what about the shrimp? Um, so far, touch wood. If I have some wood, there is touching some wood. I've had no deaths. King Kongs are doing fantastic. One of the things that you would have noticed with this tank, guys, is. Um, oh, look at that over there. You see that uh, wine red there? I've just noticed that she's buried. These are shrimp I got from a guy called Roger Ellingson. He is the owner of uh, Relicon Aqua. He was a guy I was showing you his page before, by the way, in case you wondered who that was. These are shrimp I bought from him. Okay. Well, shrimp I bought from him, shrimp he gave me because he's the sponsor. Look at them, aren't they absolutely gorgeous? I'm going to pan out a little bit just so so you can see what else I changed in here. And I've added like one or two of these sponge filters in every single tank just to give the tanks a little bit of a boost. The other thing I've changed, as you might have already noticed, is I've added some spotlights onto this. And these were cheap ones that I got here locally in Norway. And the tank, in my opinion, it looks good, but there's something wrong with the colour still. These are 4000 Kelvin um, security light lamps. If this was just a fish tank, I think, with some plants, I wouldn't mind, but when you're looking at shrimp and you're looking at the white sun shrimp, this gives it a slight uh, yellow tinge, which I'm not entirely in love with, so... And what I plan to do is change... You know these um, lights I have over here? I can't look at them too long because the camera will go into focus. I want to change these lights here to the same. Maybe, actually. It, it does look quite good, actually, but I think I will still change them. Also, guys, the other lights I will change by next month. The time you see this video will be these ones over here. These tanks will be redone, and there will, will be LED lights under here as well. So I think that's it for this month. Tell me what you think in the comments. Are you impressed with my progress this month or not? I love you all. I'll catch you all in the next one. And remember, guys, to leave your comments about next month's um, 
giveaways, etc. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy shrimp game, guys. Bye!